I take great pleasure to introduce to you Institute of Software Technologies. IST is a training division of the Software Technologies. We are located on West Point Building along Parker Road in Parklands in Nairobi on 6th floor. Our center has 11 well-equipped labs with a capacity to hold 120 participants at a time. We are a fully-fledged Kenyan institution registered with the Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Technology to provide technical, industrial and vocational entrepreneurship training. We are also registered with the National Industrial Training Authority, that is NITA, as a training provider. We are a Red Hat certified training partner in Eastern Central Africa and the only testing center in the region. We are also VMware Training Center and EC Council Certified Training Center to provide cybersecurity training. Appin Lab Technology, also that's for, uh, we partnered with them to provide uh, cybersecurity training. We are also an ICDL approved training and testing center in East and Central Africa. These prestigious appointments reflect to the confidence that our international partners have in IST's ability to deliver quality, hands-on training that is of the highest standard. Having provided training for over 28 years, IST training is associated with the world over in terms of quality, consistency, and hands-on approach. We offer consistent and convenient services for a complete training solution. We can arrange everything that your business needs, from high-level technical training to a variety of desktop applications. We have trained over 800 companies in the region. Our highly qualified and skilled instructors always make such trainings possible and a success. We train on emerging trending technologies that molds our graduate adopt to a digital transforming world. These courses range from the basics of computer operations to intermediate skill sets such as database management, software development, networking, system administration, cybersecurity, and so forth. We have advanced professional training such as cybersecurity and cloud computing. As a student, choosing and paying for the right course is a very important decision for you. Ask yourself, are you doing a course of your ability and desire, or have you just succumbed to your relatives or friends' course desires? Have you been professionally assessed and guided on the course to take? At IST, we endeavor to ensure that students are properly guided before admission. We put heavy consideration on related technical skills. We only use grades as a guide. Don't be discouraged by low grades. IST was established primarily to provide IT training services for our corporate clients. Um, this of course grew as we grew and apart from our corporate clients we found that at SDL, at Software Technologies, we required high caliber students. We were finding that it was increasingly difficult to recruit such students from the universities, the public institutes in Kenya, so we decided to train these people ourselves. Our motto has always been that we should train people who we are able to recruit we should train people who our corporate clients are able to recruit and if we've done that we've been successful. What makes IST different? Um, IST has always been very practical based, uh, very project based. Um, we believe, we of course do teach theory, theory is important, but I think there is a massive demand and a dying need for people who are practically skilled rather than theory skilled. Um, it sounds like a small distinction, but we place a big emphasis on projects. We place a big emphasis on practical coding, practical knowledge. Um, I think that's what's made us different. Um, our syllabus is constantly being changed and updated to what the industry requires. IST's achievements. Um, IST's been recognized over and over again. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole list of awards we've won. Um, we've got various partnerships. Um, people come from all over Africa to come and train with us. We've had clients from as far as Nigeria and Ghana in West Africa, right down through to Botswana and Malawi in Southern Africa. And people continue to come here. Uh, one, um, we believe we have a world-class training center, um, unlike anything else in, in this part of the world. We have great, great trainers, and we have a syllabus that is second to none. My name is Samuel Dungo and I'm um, the training manager at the Institute of Software Technology. And uh, for the last 25 years, we have specialized on uh, ICT courses, software development. We have courses in uh, database development. We have courses in security. And uh, in all our courses, we have 
uh, qualified uh, trainers. We know that this area, the ICT, is a very practical area and the students need to prove what they, they can do. And this is our major uh, aim when we train our students. During this time of COVID-19, we have different methodology in which we deliver our training. We have online training for those people who are not able to come here physically. We also have uh, the on-site training whereby we can come to your company or we came to where you are and uh, we give you the training. So everyone who is outside there, you are a student who finished Form 4, uh, you are graduate from university, you did security, uh, you did some development, you did uh, things to do with the database, you can come to our institute. We are going to give you the professional training. We are going to give you the required skills that are required in the, in the market outside, outside there. Also, I will mention that we have the uh, international certification in all those areas, whereby you are recognized not only in Kenya, but even outside, uh, outside Kenya. My name is Uba Jalani. I'm in Institute of Software Technology. I'm doing Oracle in database application development. And then I, I joined in uh, January 2019, last year. When I came here, the receptionist was really nice. They were very welcoming. My trainers are very, very, very friendly. I didn't expect it, especially Tony. <laughs> Tony was very nice. And Rogers too. Rogers told me what I couldn't do. Aliniambia zile vitu nitakuwa nikifanya and he was right. I have potential. <laughs>
given a career talk over the phone call. I just thought it would be wise if I'll come to IST in person and get to know more about IST. And uh, through uh, some mentorship and a career from Rogers, that's when I, I decided and made up my mind that I would join IST to do database administration and later do criminology. I chose database administration because uh, my idea of doing criminology was not for me to work as a police officer somewhere or a criminology officer at a police institute. Rather, I, I wanted to work in a company, uh, let's say a bank or any other company. And I, I looked at whatever I wanted to do and saw that database administration, if I do database administration, that means I would be able to secure the data in the company. So. I took database administration as an added advantage to my career dream. So, I was a gang of Arnold. I joined IST like a year and a half ago. I did a diploma in Oracle database. Now, so far, I have a very good time at uh, this place. I learn a lot. The environment is cool. The lecturers are cool. And uh, from a year and a half ago, and, and as I ni me make improvements, ni gine wazimu. So, naza recommend them say yote, and naza taka ku make improvements ama ku jua vitu mabu za IT, aku J place. Nata regret. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm currently taking database administration in application development. Um, my experience studying in IST has been really dope. I've been enjoying myself. But other than enjoying, I've been learning. The training is friendly and uh, it's more of understanding rather than just going through the course and finishing up what you're doing. I would encourage guys to come and uh, uh, join us and uh, get to experience what you're experiencing and gain the skills. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Jaswinder from Software Technologies Limited. Uh, today, in today's world, um, more ladies are joining in the tech field. Long time ago, there were very few ladies who would actually pick this skill up. Myself, I found myself in the ICT world. Um, I feel that I'm a problem-solving person. I will be able to analyze skills and uh, problems that come up in day-to-day -day lives. Uh, when the computers came into the world, I actually took this up and decided to see how I can resolve problems by programming a um, couple of things and I found myself into the tech world. Um, today's world there are many ladies who are joining into this field and um, I would like to encourage them because uh, this is the way to go. Um, women have an inbuilt capac capacity to solve problems and if you look at programming it's also about the same thing. You see a problem how can you resolve it by doing a couple of programming tactics that uh, a member does none. It's not a difficult field. Um, ladies fear this field because they feel it's a very male dominated world but uh, I'm sure that with the right training that will be provided at various uh, institutions for example IST our ladies are going to pick this field up very very well my name is Shadrach Kodondi I'm one of the lead trainers at the Institute of Software Technologies there are several courses that we offer at the Institute, uh, one of them being the full stack development, which has become a very favorite course for most students because of the nature of how it is offered. When you join our full stack course, it will take you one year and there are several programming languages that you will be able to undertake during this course of study. You start with the web development, then you go to courses like Python, Java, and then you move on to uh, frameworks. Many of us do not know about frameworks. When you learn a language, sometimes in most cases, the current trend requires you to do uh, language frameworks. Like for example, if you do Python, you'll do a Flask framework. If you do uh, JavaScript, you will do Angular. So those frameworks are very specialized ways of developing softwares. So we encourage you to uh, join our course. It is a very, very marketable course that will build a, a very good career for you. All right, so my name is Steven Jenga. Uh, I'm a student at IST and I do full stack web development. 
So I would say my experience for me uh, in learning in IST has been one that has been msena power space akoye. You don't need to outdo or compete. You are unafunzo ku bring out the code in yourself. And me uh, as a I would recommend this to anyone who actually wants to get serious with IT or anything in the field. Ju for sure utapata space ya kuawele. My name is Festus Refiro, a student pursuing computer science in the university. But at the same time, I saw it rise enough to come to Institute of Software and Technologies to pursue a diploma in full stack development, which will really come in handy in improving in my logic because I aspire to become a developer. For that to be achievable for me, I saw it rise to pursue uh, an added course so that it can supplement what I'm currently pursuing in the university. And it has been a great journey so far as a major in web development. And one thing I love about AST is the ambience and serenity in the school as well as the relatable staff who really go out of their way to help me at any time where I might need some assistance. And therefore, I'd like to add anyone in the STEM industry or also in other non-tech industries, they should take initiative to try and keep up with technology and it will really come in handy in the years to come. My name is Baraka Mulumia. I am a student at the Institute of Software Technologies. I tech full stack software development with a major in web development. I came to this school after pursuing a degree in Bachelor's of Education Science, which I then realized that it wasn't my passion because personally I am a technology enthusiast and I believe that by coming to the Institute of Technologies with the help of our great trainers Today, I have, the journey that I have taken up to, to today, it's have been helping me to realize my dream. I want to be a good developer, a great software developer, because as they say that uh, Facebook started uh, at Harvard in a dome, I believe that at IST, we can also build something that is big, with that something that can have a global impact to the world of technology. Okay, the reason why I joined IST is that I realized they are catering for corporate needs, IT corporate needs. I was already in IT and what I was doing, I was not really good at it. And um, I found the instructors in IST competent and able to teach. And also, I think it was a very hospitable environment. So what I'd advise uh, someone to learn today is full stack development. Uh, why? Because um, currently JavaScript is it's like the in thing and people are using the web browser. So in full stack de development you need to know HTML, you need to learn HTML which actually structures your page, it's like the skeleton. You need to learn CSS um, which is like uh, the clothes. <laughs> And you need to learn JavaScript, which is like the brains. It runs on the client side. You need to learn PHP, Python, which runs on the server side. Um, and you need to know one or two frameworks in PHP uh, for CSS and for JavaScript. Uh, some of the frameworks are React.js, Vue.js, Bootstrap for CSS, uh, Laravel for PHP, and um, maybe Angular. A framework is a library of code we normally encounter the same problem and we apply the same solution. So these repetitive tasks we can put in a library to make things easier, to make things safer, and um, it also makes you to develop faster. My name is Kennedy Tue. I'm a certified uh, professional uh, ethical lacquer as well as a penetration tester. I've been training on IST for quite a while. It has been so amazing. We've been training as uh, cyber security courses, uh, starting from the certificate in information security, diploma in ethical lacking, 
and higher diploma in health co-working. All these courses are meant to be more practical sense that will give a lot of skills to a student out there to be very marketable on the industry. We do also offer a professional certification such as a certified health co-working, certified network defender, a penetration tester, as well as the licensed penetration tester. So these courses are meant to add value to any student because they are meant to be completely practical. They are up to date on what hackers are up to there on the market. So joining IST is one of the best thing you can ever do on the industry, especially on this current world, which is dealing with growing uh, internet of things. So joining IST will equip you with a lot of skills that will enable you to fight over there in the job market, especially if you are in the IT industry. So uh, join us, uh, it will be an amazing journey. We're always ready for consultation and, uh, and you are always welcome to join IST. My name is Andrew Oweru. I came to learn about IST last year via my own digging. But uh, recently I found that they were doing most of their marketing via social media, WhatsApp, Instagram. As I was uh, coming here, I was, an, I was a newbie. But right now I'm glad to say that uh, I'm no longer a script kid in the field that I'm in, which is ethical hacking. I have learned a lot with uh, the experience that I've had here, getting to know different types of operating systems, ways of how to curb hacking, how to, employ, uh, how to protect yourself from wireless attacks, and so much more. But where I loved it most is where I was doing most of my penetration testing, and uh, my SQL injections to get vulnerable websites, to get some juicy information from there. That was really very interesting. I can say that when I, when I was here all that time, my experience was very exciting. And I would like to encourage everyone or anyone who's interested in the field to come and join us. You'll get a lot of information regarding the ethical hacking course, you'll get to learn a lot of things uh, about the threats and how to curb them. Um, my, my name is Jack Otieno, uh, a student at Institute of Software Technology. I have done ICEH. Uh, when, I came to I, when I came to IST, uh, I was expecting my expectations have been met. Uh, on the cybersecurity field, I have found out that there is a lot that I have to uncover, and IST has really helped kickstart the process of me uncovering a lot in cybersecurity. The trainers have been good, the environment is good, the ratio of teachers to students, trainers to students is also good. Uh, they are here 24 7. Uh, when upon completion of the course, um, I am expecting to venture into the cybersecurity field. Uh, in the cybersecurity field, so far as IST have been with me, they have taught me a lot and they have told me to expect a lot in the cybersecurity field. There is a lot to be done, especially with. Kenya transitioning into a more IT structured environment, you find the security of this IT infrastructure needs to be implemented. And thanks to IST, IST is producing these trainers to come and help secure Kenya, help secure the IT infrastructure in Kenya. Uh, my wishes are for this program to continue, to become even better, to grow bigger than it already is uh, and I'd like to thank IST for their time with me and I enjoyed my stay. During my time here at IST I've learned very many different skills whereby we have learned information gathering, penetration testing among other skills. One thing that has stuck with me through all this is this is not a course for just the IT professionals. Everyone needs to learn how to protect themselves in terms of information security and the cyber world. Because any, every day of our lives, we interact with the technology in different ways, be it our phones, our laptops, or even the machines we interact with in, in our daily activities. My name is Danmark Masai. 
and I joined IST uh, in September 2019. I came to I came to realize about IST through a friend who was already here and he already finished. So apparently I was looking for something to do with security other than me doing my normal IT programs in Strathmore. According to our Kenyan statistics, we've been losing a lot of data uh, in the side of cybersecurity. And being an ethical hacker, we tend to cap those uh, hackers who are trying to uh, hack onto data and secure our systems. The Institute of Software Technology is a hidden gem where not many people know about it, but I believe more people should be made aware of its existence because it is a place where to learn IT and get your certificates. I enjoyed my time at IST very much. My name is Jonathan Munya, Cyber Security Trainer at Institute of Software Technologies. The moment you join, you'll be able to develop sec uh, security uh, mechanisms and also you'll also be able to develop defensive mechanisms which will enable you and your organization to defend well. Taking into consideration that nowadays hackers are very uh, aware and they are using all the mechanisms to bring down uh, companies and also other uh, businesses, you'll be able to have those skills and be able to manage your, your, your systems very well to avoid a situation whereby uh, hackers have been able to enter in your organization and do away with your data. So I would encourage you to join us uh, because we, all, we, we mostly emphasize on the scale part. Uh, my name is Kimacho Brenda. I'm a corporate sales executive at Institute of Software Technologies. Majorly, we equip skills for most of the employers and uh, for, for them not to get new people to come and help them in their company. We normally upgrade the skills of the current employees so that they can continue to enlarge maybe their products, their services that they normally do. Tell us why did you choose cyber security and why at IST specifically? I was looking for something that can boost my, my position, something that may improve my work as a security manager. So I was opting of taking something like security management, the challenges that we are having with our, our customers and our clients. I opted to go for cyber security and I opted for IST as an institution because when I look at their profile and whatever that they are offering at the moment, uh, I opted to go for it. What challenges are there in the market? If you look at uh, at the moment, there's a serious demand of a cyber sec person like SGA which is doing cash management. You find there's, there's a gap in the market whereby um, bank, our clients which are mostly banks are depending on their IT department uh, to cater for their their cyber security and most HRs in the, in the in the country are not even aware that there's a difference between an IT person who can do general IT work and uh, somebody who is qualified to do information security and cyber, cyber security. So I opted maybe we are trying to um, to come up with a new product in the market whereby we'll be, um, we'll be a vendor. So we'll, we, we are trying to be vendor who can sell our cyber security as a product to most of our customers. So I opted to go for it and uh, maybe to be a pioneer in my company at the moment and uh, luckily even before we go out and requested for uh, uh, and try to sell our product to our, uh, to our customers, you find most of them are now coming in. Challenges in the market is that um, if you look at uh, our industry and uh, let's say basically the market in our country, most people do not care much about cyber security and uh, there are serious crowd that is happening within the cyberspace so i think there's a massive gap in there and uh, i think we need 
as a country and uh, everybody within our country need to step up to to enhance their cyber security and information security just to come up with something that will protect and uh, assure them of their of their data